week from today, the 2019 legislative session kicks off at the Idaho State House. And today, one group wasted no time on staging the first demonstration of the year on the Capitol steps. Joe Paris has a look at today's rally put on by Legalize Idaho Joe and Moms for Marijuana. Kim, the legalization of marijuana, it's always a talker ahead of the legislative session. This year, no exception. Here in the Northwest, Idaho is almost completely surrounded by states that have some form of legal marijuana, either recreational or medical and marijuana advocates today. They took time to call for legalization, but there are still plenty of people in the gem state that think it's a bad idea. We are here today to protest Idaho's very harmful and outdated marijuana laws. Every New Year's Day, this group from Legalize Idaho and Idaho Moms for Marijuana kicks off the year at the protest. Sarah Frank drove from Oregon to be part of this event. She says she lives there in exile dealing with the medical condition because her home state of Idaho hasn't legalized marijuana. I drove an hour and a half to be here to protest because I want to come home. To send their message, Frank and other protesters gathered items that are legal in Idaho that they say are more dangerous than marijuana. Items like alcohol, tobacco, and donuts. Marijuana is safer than every single thing you see here, but these are all legal in Idaho, but marijuana is not. Protesters also officially announced that they will be seeking a new marijuana legalization ballot initiative aimed for 2020. In February, we will be having a lobby day for Legalize Idaho. Um, we have a lot in the works for the next two years as this petition comes out to really make our voices heard. The state of Idaho is bordered by six states in Canada. Of those places, most have some form of legal marijuana. With that in mind, Frank says they feel the momentum is now in their favor. The rest of the country is passing us by and we are completely surrounded on our little island of prohibition here. Of course, though, there are two very different sides of this issue. We're an island of sanity and a sea of insanity. This past fall, Keep Idaho, a branch of Drug Free Idaho, launched a new education campaign about the dangers of legalizing marijuana. We have a narrative right now of there's zero bad things that happen when you have more marijuana. And we just don't think that's the case. So this is just what we do as a prevention organization. Rob Stevenson, executive director of Drug Free Idaho, says as more states legalize marijuana, Keep Idaho wants to simply get the facts out. The goal is to show people the other side of the fence. What, what the narrative is, is it brings in all kinds of taxes and there's absolutely no problems with it. And that's just not the case. And we want to educate our, our fellow Idahoans to, to what's, what else comes with that. Legalization supporters say they hope to have a conversation about the facts in 2019, but they're confident that the people of Idaho will support them towards legalization. The people of Idaho want it. You know, the politicians might not. We don't care what they say. We're the people. This is our Capitol building. We're going to make this happen. Of note, in 2018, there was a petition campaign to get medical marijuana on the November ballot. That campaign, however, did not get enough signatures to qualify. Supporters tell me today they hope that this year they'll get a big bump in interest. Kim? An Idaho, an island of prohibition or an island of sanity, depending on your opinion. Yeah, all right, Joe, thank you.